Hi, in this Unity tutorial, I'm going to go over how to enable or disable Wait for Object VSync. Wait for Object VSync is something I noticed when I was um, running the profile around my game, and uh, that would be opening up the profiler window. Is I go to Window, Analysis, and Profiler, and um, all right, so here's the profiler window, and it kind of tells you where most of the time of your game processing is taking place. And it's a tool you use when you're trying to optimize your game speed. So um, here it is open. I'm just going to run it one more time, the game. So I'm going to go over here back to the game. And let me just dock the profiler window in here. OK, and just move this over here like this. I'm going to press play on this driving game I'm making, and I'll let it run a couple of frames. And then I will stop the game. So what I'm going to do here now is take a look in the profiler window. Um, it was better when I just had it out like this. Let me pull it out again. Ugh. Okay. And now I could just make the size bigger. All right. So what is this yellow stuff I'm seeing here? Um, this is yellow. This is a uh, V-Sync. So a lot of the processing power here for the CPU is, with, uh, is being taken up with something called V-Sync. And then over here in the main thread um, row, there is uh, something here called wait for target FPS that's taking a lot of time. And um, what I want to do is I kind of want to get rid of this yellow. I want to get rid of this wait for target FPS. The way the location for that is in the project settings there's quality settings for the project so i go into the um, edit project settings quality and it's really okay edit project settings quality and here we have some settings about um the quality of the rendering and everything that's going to go on for the game and down here in the other section there is something called um vsync count and that's going to be this yellow thing here. And right now it's set uh, for the setting of every V blank. Um, then I guess there could be every second V blank, which would be a little less. And then there's don't sync at all. So if I use don't sync, let's see what happens when I run the game this time and what the profile reports on now. So now I'm going to press play again. So that's how uh, I get rid of the wafer object and the vsync and from the profiler and you see the frames per second increased there. And what wafer vsync is doing basically is it's just trying to synchronize the, the graphic CPU and the CPU so that they kind of update together in time. Um, and as you can see, I took it off. There's no, no real difference in my game. That's how you take it off. And if I want to put back on, over here in the, um, once again, that's the edit project settings quality. And that will open up the quality settings window in the inspector. And you can look down here and you could just pick it. So there you go.